Hi everyone, Holly here again. I'm really sorry I didn't make a YouTube video for so long. Um, I've been around my friends for a whole week my, while my mum was away in Tenerife. Um, I finally have a YouTube, um, um, a um, TikTok account, so please go and follow me. It's um, Holly the Angel and Holly Irene One. Um, so please go and follow me. Um, anyway, sorry about I haven't made a video in so long. Anyway, I'm back. Um, so today, um, I decided to make a video about CPR and what you have to do. I know a lot about CPR. I don't even know how to do it. Um, so my eyes get really dry. Um, I know how to do it and I know how, like, heavy and like hard you need to press down on that chest so um as you um don't see i made a cpr poster i'm gonna hang it up in my room somewhere so yeah <laughs> so it reminds people so yeah let's just get straight into it so cpr so what you have to do firstly is you see someone on the floor first thing um, so you go over to them, you kneel down to them, you start shaking them really hard and shout in both ears, hello, can you hear me? And ask if they're all right. So if there's still no response, uh, shake them harder. And then if you want to, what could help, slap them in the face or kick them somewhere. So if they could feel that and... Um, so if they're just sorry, just reading from here. Um, so if there's no response, put your second. The uh, first thing you had to do is, if there's still no response, you have to put your uh, ear to the mouth to see if the patient is breathing. Um, five. Check if their airways. Check their air, airways. So what you have to do is get your hand put it at like at the back of their neck and get and get both fingers and put their um chin up and then all like the stuff in their neck like the airways will eventually like you could you will be able to like to see and tell if their airways are okay um yes so if there's no response start with chest compressions um shout help really loudly like at the top of the, your lungs shout uh, more than five times um shout really loudly so people could hear you um if someone is walking by and they see what's going on um say to them can you go you go and get the emergency cpr box and then after they've done the CPR thing, like the um, box, um, after, if there's still no response, start doing mouth to mouth. And all you've got to do is pitch their mo nose really tight. Um, I don't know why you have to pinch their nose, but you just have to. So pinch their nose really hard and then start doing mouth to mouth. And you have to do really deep breath. So the actual, your air in you, your your breath has to get into the body. As you know, if you know what I mean. So the, because the, like, apparently your breath could start up another human body's body. Um, yes, so start doing mouth to mouth, um, after doing chest compressions, after 30, you get up, call an ambulance straight away, and then when you're, while you're doing the CPR, you have, they will have to stay on the line with you, so they'll have to stay on the phone in case a patient wakes up. And then don't stop doing chest compressions because if you stop, um, literally the body and the human could just like, just go. It can die straight away and you won't be able to do anything. You can't get them back to life. 
so don't stop doing that um you have to do 30 mouth to mouths and 30 chest compressions shout help five times um and don't stop doing air compression the chest compressions um so and when the ambulance comes they will have to take over because they will have like the air box the i keep calling it an air box they will have the cpr emergency box and they will take over and they'll do a lot of things to the body to help it survive um when my i have a baby niece who was really unwell um when he came out of my big sister's tummy um he wasn't breathing at all and he was rushed to hospital and he um he had cpr um to do with a baby you have to get both your fingers put it on the chest and start as you mean like pushing a little bit because if you push it too hard on a baby's chest it could break all of the ribs and when you do cpr ribs will be broken because you have to do you have to bounce on the chest really hard so oxygen gets through your body um you have to do it really hard and um ribs will be broken and even though when their brain is shut off they will believe it they will feel it and it won't feel very nice um it's not very nice i know people who have had had their ribs broken i almost broke my rib before and it is painful um so you don't like want that to happen but if you do cpr or if you have cpr your ribs will be broken because of how hard the the people have pushed on your chest and it's good because they need oxygen in your body um so that's just all for my video today i hope you in school i've done cpr so um only with dummies not with real people so um yes so please go follow me on tiktok that's all for my video today please stay safe um if if you see someone please help them by doing cpr call the ambulance straight away and do chest compressions 30 times and say with mouth to mouth so um yes so please go and follow me on tiktok Thank you for watching. Sorry about me being so long away. Um, yes, so please go and follow me. So, thank you for watching. Please go and like my videos. Please subscribe when I put it on. I'll figure out how the way to put it on. Keep saying that. Anyway, so, bye.